station. Please have patience while we wait for its arrival. Ooh. You okay, man? They're still messing with you. Well, yes, a bit. I'm worried that we're heading to the final showdown without certain details being sorted out. I feel the same. There's still the question of Irina, and this world itself. Not to mention the fact that we're not even sure what exactly it is we're going to fight. I am not sure how much help I will be, but if you'd like, I can share with you what I know. Please be aware that this will involve a degree of speculation, but I should be able to provide some useful information. Actually, I should probably start by telling you about the root cause of our present circumstances first. I too have been conducting investigations into the nature of Salmael's existence. What I have found suggests it is the materialization of an instinct which exists subconsciously in the human heart. So, do you mean it's a sort of malevolent god, like Yaldabaoth? Unlike the god of control, who was born from a collective yearning for idleness, Salmael is, how should I put this, a universal instinct that's burdened man since the beginning of time. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to die. Man's innate desire of self-preservation is another way to put it. One might call it a material embodiment of this instinct, born from an ocean of human subconsciousness. So, kind of like the personification of people's consciousness,
faint seed of power may have taken root within him then. Of course, a persona can be awakened in other ways too. I see. I think I'm starting to understand. Agreed. In other words, with ordinary people, Salmael is able to invade their minds whenever it pleases. But with Toshiro, the subtle emergence of a power to resist prevented it from interfering. These drawings are so, uh, <laughs> unique. I'm kind of at a loss here, but... <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. And additionally, Toshiro's son being able to resist Samael's power meant he posed an even greater threat. So it was willing to do whatever it took to snuff him out. And the moment it made the decision to eradicate my will for social change, it created this place. Yes. The metaverse we currently find ourselves in is called the Kingdoms. Salmael must have attempted to purge your will by using the memories which lay dormant in your heart. Well, I never would have guessed there was a war being waged inside my own mind. Even so, your subconscious was putting up a fight against Salmael's invasion from the very beginning. And amidst it all, it's very likely that's when you were born within Toshiro Kasukabe's spirit. Me? Just like Salmael used the individuals from Toshiro's memory as symbols of domination, there was another individual in Toshiro's heart who embodied the spirit of revolution. Mary. With your mind under attack, you subconsciously materialized Aerie and entrusted your hope to her. This hope was the power of your persona, the thing that Salmael was trying to destroy before it fully formed. Hmm. So in effect, this is what you're saying, yes? Salmael created the kingdoms to try and quash the potential of Toshiro's power. In response, Toshiro's heart created Arena as a symbol of revolution, the keeper of his power. So every battle the Rebel Corps fought was ultimately an effort to protect Toshiro's will. Oh, not bad, Fox. <laughs> I can't let you take all the glory, can I? What are you trying to prove to her anyways? Things were looking pretty grim before the Phantom Thieves got here. So I'm not sure if I'd have lasted much longer. You had only a fraction of power, but it was also very faint. It stands to reason that you would be unable to stave off Salmael's invasion on your own. However, no matter how persistently Salmael attacked, it was never able to completely wither out your will. Thus, hitting the limits of its patience, Salmael opted for a last resort. That is when it must have dragged the real Toshiro Kasukabe into this metaverse. And then it used my fiancé, my father, and my imposter. Each one of my traumas trying to corner me. It wasn't able to break Toshiro's heart with Arena defending it, so it went for the throat instead. Ugh, seriously? Using a person's memories to try and break them down emotionally is some real sick stuff. You got that right. That didn't go according to plan either, did it? No, it did not. Therefore, it would stand to reason that Salmael is also in a difficult position. The fact that it showed itself would seem to indicate the intention to settle things with its own hands. Which means we're in for a head-to-head -head fight, right? Yes, you have the general idea. I know we went through all this relatively quickly, but we will be arriving shortly. I will be happy to answer any more questions to the best of my ability after we arrive. Thank you, Miss Lavenza. To put it plainly, the enemy is yet another nosy god wannabe. It's not going to be an easy fight, but when has that ever stopped the Phantom Thieves? Pardon me? We will be arriving momentarily, everyone. Are all your preparations in order? 
Hell yeah! Bring it on! I would have liked to enjoy this pleasant train ride a bit longer, but I suppose that we'll have to wait until we clean up this mess. Our morale couldn't be higher. Onwards! No cause for concern, I see. Very well. I will take us right in. Huh? Off. Excuse me, but is that what you call safe? The world did three whole rotations. I'm dizzy. Sorry. Could I get a bag or something? Ugh. Anyhow, it looks like we made it to the enemy stronghold. Do you think Samael's waiting up ahead? Yes, but I wouldn't expect a warm reception. I would suggest going further only when amply prepared. This is the final battle. Let's get the win and stop this nutcase for good. Yeah, and I'll settle the score with my past once and... <laughs> you don't make it easy to have a cool exit, do you? By the look on your face, I take it there is still something on your mind. I am more than happy to shed some light on your understanding of the situation, if you would like. Of course. So what would you like to discuss first? As I told you before, this is the Velvet Room, but with an altered appearance. The appearance of the Velvet Room will change depending on the visitor's state of mind. But typically, once an appearance has been determined, a second transformation should not be possible. Therefore, I believe this world and Salmael are responsible for the current aberration from the norm. Is this related to what you said before? About the room being unstable? entirely seems to have been beyond its means. Furthermore, because the Velvet Room regained its form from within a state of limbo, I presume its current appearance is only temporary. It seems safe to assume so. Between the interference of Salmael, the growth of your own heart, and the will of Toshiro Kasukabe. The present appearance is likely the result of these irregularities happening all at once. That makes sense. Well, at any rate, having this train has been a major convenience. For now, let's just be grateful for it. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Salmael was the entity responsible for creating this world in Toshiro Kasukabe's heart. This much I told you already, correct? What was going on with Marie and all the Legionnaires? How'd they actually come to be? Because they didn't seem like shadows to me. Those who reigned as rulers were created from memories and images. They were idols Salmael conjured for the purpose of emotionally cornering Toshiro Kasukabe. I believe you have all witnessed an entity being born from an unintentional breakdown of cognition before? You mean from Futaba's palace, right? The cognitive form of her mother? In actuality, they were fragments of Salmael's own existence with the visual appearances of their real-world selves. 
So all that time, they were treating Toshiro like their plaything, when they were the actual puppets all along, huh? Wait, does that mean the Legionnaires were this way too? Yes, but unlike their rulers, it seems like Salmael used shadows that were drifting in the subconscious sea. And in order to force those shadows to submit to its will, it absorbed them. The power crystals that appeared when the Legionnaires were defeated were likely remnants of this process. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Her case is another extremely rare one. A cognitive presence, a persona, a shadow. It may be best to think of her as a being that shares attributes with all of these. Meaning... Toshiro Kasukabe created Irina when his will and the power within his heart were struggling to be heard. She was the embodiment of Toshiro's feelings of hope, revolution, and resistance. When you describe it like that, she sure does sound a lot like a cognitive being. Subconsciously, Toshiro entrusted her with his power, the seed of a persona, figuratively speaking. One could say that while in this state, she was a cognitive being with an inner persona. Typically, personas and shadows are two sides of the same coin. And the entity known as Irina carried the light and darkness of Toshiro's heart. So she was born from cognition, but she's also Toshiro's persona. Which would explain why Irina's still herself even after she awakened to her power. Furthermore, even though this area may have been conquered, a portion of it remains connected to people's hearts. A possibility remains that the events that took place here had a subconscious effect on the real Eri Natsuhara's heart. No. <sighs> but, again, this is all speculation on an exceptional circumstance and exclusive to this specific situation. It would be disingenuous of me to go on about theories I cannot substantiate. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Thank you very much, Miss Lavenza. I feel like it's all making a lot more sense to me now. Well, if I was able to be of assistance, then I could not ask for anything more. Now then, this is as far as the train can take you. Please proceed on your own from here, and good luck facing Salmael. Fortunately, despite the change in appearance, the Velvet Room has retained its usual functions. I shall be able to assist you with Persona Fusions and the like whenever necessary. That's a huge help, Miss Lavenza. What would we do without you? Okay, I say we'd better prep for battle before moving out! Until next time.
understand. Who's this? Take this! 
send you flying! Yeah. Don't even 
my turn. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here I go. Persona! Yeah. 
dead. Here I come. All right. You'll get no mercy. Okay, don't move. here just screams ambush what do we have here did you all really just come waltzing in like schmucks again that voice i won't let you get away from me this time toshiro oh crap Arie? what are you doing back from the dead this isn't her it's presumably an illusion salmael conjured up to rattle toshiro's Toshiro! Toshiro! You're a piece of trash who can't do anything on your own. You think rebelling now will do you any good? You're nothing but a wind-up dog. Give it up already! There's no point! Say what you want, but you're wasting your time. I can walk on my own two legs now. So I'm taking this will of mine, and I'm ending my relationship with you. Shut up! Shut up! You think you can defy me and get away with it? You piece of crap! Trash! Dumb! You're my marionette! Right? Yes, you are! You have to be! Is it just me, or has her vitriol gone up a notch? I'm rich and famous! I'm a master, not a slave! Lowly peasant! Grovel before me! Just because you have money, just because you have power, you have no right to keep people down. Let's go, everybody. This is a fight we can't lose.
Now it's my turn. So it's my turn. All right. All right, let's do this. Out of my way! This now. All right, let's go. All right. So it's my turn. Do this. 
this. That's a hit! Nice going! Don't move now! Yeah. So it's you right. Good job, Skull! Show them our strength! Nice cover! <laughs> All right. A direct hit! You're doing well, Toshiro! Nice position. You'll be well hidden. Take that! Don't do this to me! You got him! What to do here? Here I go! That's perfect! You'll be safe there! Persona! It's a red hit! You're right. doing well, Toshiro! It's okay to need it! Let's go!
Yeah.
Let's do this! So it's my turn. What to do here? Do 
Better get ready. Shall we do this? All right. So it's my turn. What to do here?
go!
right. Better get ready. All right, let's go. All right, let's do this. So it's my turn. Better get ready. Question. I 
hid my weakness and followed the path others laid for me. That's all I knew how to do. But I made the decision to change. And now, I'm going to prove it to you. <laughs> An idiot through and through, me. Very well. I gave you a chance to surrender, but so be it. Now, the second time, I'm going to win my war love and beat you to a bloody pulp! I crush you, then grind you to bits! Looks like someone's finally had one glitch too many. Toshiro won't lose to a jerk of a dad like you. We're gonna teach you a lesson you should have learned a long time ago. In this mad comedy wrought by friends' fancy, the curtain shall fall with this final conflict. My love grows wings! It's showtime, Joker. Let's do this!
Better get ready. So it's my turn.
Get ready. Don't mind being cast out. So it's my turn. Nice position. You'll be well headed. Hockey Row shots have landed. Good work there. What to do here? We'll do what they tell us. Think I'll Fire! Oh, as always, Joker. You got him!
Greetings. What shall you do? What you're saying is... Thank you very much. Greetings. All right, so now there's... Until next time! All right. So now there's... All right, this is the one. Hey. Let's go. Get ready!
on, let's do this. Here I go. Now then. Now it's my turn. All right. All right.
Thank you. we choose all right this is the one Nothing less. Hey, wait! <laughs> what shall you do?
hisses. Right. Greetings. Should we choose? All right, this is the one. Oh, but hmm.
reinforcements? Well, we still gotta do this. All right, let's do this. Put them down. Get ready. It's my turn. Come on. Okay, we're down one enemy. Now it's my turn. Show them what we got. Should we choose? I'll be counting on you.
Greetings. May I have a moment? It's true. Let's go! Very well.
this. I'll do my best. All right, let's go. Okay, no mercy. That's great. I expected nothing less. Thank you for your efforts. Ah! Hey!
my turn. All right. All right, let's go. Better get ready. What's <laughs> up, Landon? What to do here? Witness our power as one! Toshiro <laughs> defeated an enemy! Show him what you got! <laughs> Alright. It's over! Joker took out an enemy! Alright! Oh, it's my turn. All right. Take that. Joker's hit the mark! All right, let's go! We fight together! Fire away, Ernesto! Come on, you an enemy!
Get ready. All right, let's give it to him. Joker, let's go. Be safe there. It's all over. Let's hit the mark. Do this. That's it, Toshiro. That place is perfect.
right. Our unbreakable resolve! Show them our strength!
What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? What would you like to do? Well then, have a pleasant day. Get ready! Alright. So it's my turn. You'll get no 
thirsty. Now it's my turn. All right, let's go. Our unbreakable resolve.
You'll be well headed. Aim. Who's got a hit? That'll show him. Here we go.
Get up! Stay down! You have to hold on! <laughs> Here, aren't you? Show yourself. <laughs> so, you still intend to continue that callow charade you call a revolution? Find all you like. It's not going to get you anywhere. Your words won't reach Toshiro anymore. Mouth! Parasitic vermin of Toshiro's heart! Oh, but that's an apt description of you, isn't it? Power and suddenly you're talking like a big shot. You're a miserable puppet, dancing to the tune of Eri Natsuhara's absurd idealism. This time around, I'll free you from that miserable woman's chains. I think it's high time we let go of the past. Here and now, I'm going to prove our vow. I will fulfill the promise I made with Eri. Then it seems I have my own case to make. I'll prove to you how meaningless your filthy ideals truly are. This is one fight we won't lose. Let's go! Oh, <laughs> 
You're done. Oh, Let's go. Got him. That's true. I've no complaints about that victory. All right, let's keep going. Thank you.
I should write that down. Form a fusion. Are you finished? The awakening of a new power. Which persona will you choose? Now then, make your decision. Is this persona? One moment, please. Is this persona? Please wait just a moment. Persona will you choose? Is this persona one moment, please? Is this persona please wait just a moment? One moment, please. What would you like to do? Until next time. Better jot that down. Here we've reached the end, the abyss where this so-called god resides. Samael is here, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> could you tell I'm a little nervous? After all this time, I think I finally get what it means to be scared. But I also have this feeling that I need to overcome this, in order for me to continue being me. What'd you say? Let's win and put an end to this. That's what I came here for. It's what he says. Yeah, I don't think so. Pardon me. Anxiety had my mouth trembling a bit there. No matter the outcome, this is the last fight. I'm truly grateful to all of you for fighting by my side all the way here. Hey, it's a little early to be thanking us. Let's put an end to all this and have a laugh about it after, all right? Yeah, we gotta slap that phony busybody of a god with our formal rejection! Yes, it's time to finish this. Looks like it's making its entrance. Here it comes!
my lost sheep. I take it your journey here has given you ample time to reflect upon your sins. Now then, let me hear it. Confess unto me. Give it up already, Salmael. You can try all the petty tricks you like, but our hearts will never surrender. We've made our decision. We have no interest in your so-called protection. Oh, but a woeful folly to think you could reject the path to solace and prosperity of your own volition. There, after all the shit you put people through, you still got the nerve to talk about police? My pitiful. Children, do you not understand that I offer mankind salvation? You might see it as salvation, but we call it sticking your big fat nose into other people's business. Couldn't have said it better myself. I'll choose my own path, thank you very much. You understand nothing. The very mode of thought exemplifies vanity, irreverence, and foolishness. I will acknowledge that you are considered the strong among mankind. But you are the exceptions, not the norm. Most humans are frail in mind and weak of will. You propagate your ideologies among the weak, fanning the flames of conflict while hiding behind shields of righteousness. Leading casualties until eventually all meet their demise. And all the while these sacrifices are glorified in the name of distorted words, conviction, honor, ideals. <laughs> A pathogenic bacterium spreading the contagion of war left alone. This world was created to eradicate such a serious disease. Furthermore, my will is the consensus of humanity. I urge you to submit to their wishes. Did you all hear that? Apparently, we're a disease. I do understand the point you're trying to make. It is true that reckless instigation of conflict Use countless tragedies. But if one does nothing but run away from pain and suffering, you really call it living. Even in the most adverse circumstances, there will always be those who desire change. They are those who are willing to fight, even if it means to suffer. And perhaps their actions are motivated by their own ego, leading them to stray from the consensus of humanity. I want to extend my hand to them all the same. I want to be the kind of person who will fight alongside them. That is what I learned from the Phantom Thieves and Arena. This is my will. Hmm. Well, there you have it, old Salmi. We're gonna do things our own way from now on. Yeah, I may be an honor student, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you boss me around. If you're not gonna let us through, we'll just have to force our way in. It's not the first time we've gone against the so-called will of the masses. Call us infidels if you like. But be assured that no one will hinder our artistic vision. Considering you've just dismissed the majority of us as weak, I'd say you're the one who's looking down on humanity. Besides, you're wrong about us being the strong ones. All we did was take one step at a time. We did it together. You know, people aren't quite as strong or as weak as you make them out to be. You don't have to rule over them like this. They'll find a way to keep moving forward all on their own. I know better than anyone you can't be a shut-in just because you're scared of getting hurt. Whether you're supposed to be a god, an instinct, or whatever, I'm not cool with you forcing your beliefs down my throat. No matter how many times we came close to giving up, in the end, we've always stuck to our convictions. So you think we're gonna fold to your consensus or whatever you wanna call it? You've got another thing coming! 
how lamentable. Oh, how I hear your screams. How I see your suffering. Well, it seems like a peaceful resolution is off the table. Twist your words however you want. We won't succumb to your absurdity. As the protector of his soul and as a warrior that fought alongside you all, I will defeat you and reform this world. Hmm. Such drivel. Truly a cry of lunacy. It pains me to use forcible means. But you leave me no choice. This is for the salvation all of humanity yearns for. For the prosperity of mankind, I will now eradicate you into non-existence. Listen to the cries of the minimize the 
name of eternal peace. Be gone! Be gone with your despicable flames of conflict! <laughs>
So it's my turn. All right. Nice. All right, let's go. Now. It's showtime. Shall we do this? Our unbreakable resolve. Don't move! Ah, the 
Good no. job, Skull! All right, let's go! That's it, Toshiro! Show That's them our strength! Perfect! A direct hit! You're doing well, Toshiro! Oh. What to do here? Fire! Cool as always, Joker! You got him! Persona! Witness my death! Oh no! Mission. Hang in there! I defeat all humanity! You're done! You're an enemy! Oh, right! 
do here? Come, take this. Shall we do this? Witness our power at once. Those shots have landed. Good work there. I believe all humanity. We shall not escape. Be careful. Here I go.
Hit the mark! Eternal tranquility is the secret desire of all mankind! Purge. I will purge you! Look at them all! <laughs> Not a problem. Let's go! <laughs> it's now or never! You're getting on my nerves! Get the hell out of here! you so much pain. I'm sorry, but even someone like me has their principles. I want to protect everyone that has taught me to fight. I want to protect their spirit. I want to support those who need it, and be willing to fight their battles with them. So please, lend me your strength. Stand with us one more time! Arena! Goodbye. We choose to fight and stand up for a better tomorrow.
Okay, did we get it? The target's not showing up on my radar. Which means... It means... We win! We <laughs> win! Like everyone's run ragged, huh? Cheers and a job well done, though. Let's get home. Some hot coffee and curry on the house sounds sublime right now. Jeez, man, you're already trying to pooch? <laughs> Toshiro? Salmayo said it was born from people's hearts. Is that me? We could be looking at the possibility of another being like it emerging again? Yeah, it definitely isn't out of the question. If that's what people wish for, it could end up happening one day. I see. And I'll just need to prove it, won't I? That people can keep moving forward of their own will. Even it's getting hurt. No kidding. You've really become the kind of person others can look up to. I'll be cheering for you. Always. Hey! Shit, this place is coming apart! Could it be because the creator of this world is gone? Evasive maneuvers, go, go! Everyone run, quickly! Also, if someone could lend me a shoulder, I can't move. Yes, yes. Let's run on our own legs now. We should be able to escape if we get back to the train. Final stretch. Hang in there, everyone. Guys, run like your life depends on it. We're getting back to Miss Lavenza. <laughs> Toshiro, hurry! Wait. I'm dying. Welcome back, everyone. Miss Lavenza, there's no time. Please get us out of here. Understood. In that case, this train will be departing momentarily. Please be sure to keep your hands, feet, and tails inside of the windows at... Let's skip that part for now, okay? Just get us out of here, please! What a shame. I wanted to do that at least once. All right, I'll fly us out at Super Express speed. Please hold on tight. of not yielding in your convictions. Eventually, this place should go back to its proper state. Once that happens, you should all be able to return to your reality as well. Until then, please spend your time wisely so as not to leave any regrets. Regrets? Oh, I see. Well, then, we should probably get our goodbyes out of the way, shouldn't we? Guys, well, hold up. You're not coming with us, Serena? You don't mean you're going to disappear too! No, I'm not disappearing. I'm just going back to where I came from. I was only born to protect Toshiro's heart from Salmael's rule, remember? Now that his influence is gone, it's time for me to go back into Toshiro's heart. So, you can't 
cry. All right, Toshiro? A needless concern, I should say. You were once a part of me. So you'll just be going back to where you belong. What kind of person cries over saying goodbye to himself? <laughs> you really aren't honest with yourself, are you? Hey, the fight only just ended. It's too early to be saying goodbye. There was still so much I wanted to talk about with you. Yeah, this should be the beginning, not the end. Thank you, Futaba. Brief as it was, I'll never forget the time we spent together. Not ever. I won't tell you goodbye. I'll just say, I was proud to bear witness to your noble way of life. I'll always be connected through Toshiro, okay? Bye, Irina. Yusuke, Makoto. I was saved by your wisdom on many an occasion. I won't say goodbye either. We'll meet again, okay? She's not disappearing. I know it in my head, but it still makes me sad. In these moments, it definitely looks coolest if you can make it short and sweet. But it looks like that ain't for me. <laughs> I feel the same way. Haru, Ryuji, I learned a great deal from your candor. If Toshiro ever loses his nerve again, I'd like you two to snap him back to his senses. Are you going already? It's time. I see. And here I was planning to take you in as my apprentice. <laughs> it's a shame, you know? <laughs> I guess I missed out big time, didn't I? Will you teach me if we meet again? What it takes to be a phantom thief, that is. You can count on it. Your words always have a warmth about them, don't they? You've saved me and Toshiro with them countless times. Morgana, Joker, I'm truly glad I met you both. In this very spot, in fact. Karina! Sorry, guys. I think my time's up. myself anymore no matter how many times I get knocked down no matter how many times I falter I'll follow the path I believe in will you watch over me Uh, hold the phone. 
phone was Toshiro. He came to that world in a different way than we did. So it stands to reason he just landed in a different location. But, but how can we confirm that? Like, can we call the diet? Yeah, I think we'd sound really sus if we did that. True. Remember how much of a fuss the press made when he went missing? It seems likely we'll hear if he's back. Please be safe, Toshiro. Toshiro! Toshiro, where on earth have you been? I'm sorry if I've caused you any concern. Oh, I'm sure. I bet you were just running away from the pressure, as usual. Won't you just do as you're told? Or is that still expecting too much of you? How now, Marie-san? Incompetent though he may be, he's still my dear son. Please go easy on him. Whatever the circumstances, he did come back. I'll have him make a formal apology later, and all will be well. Father, I'm... You fool! Disappearing at a time like this! Do you realize how much this will affect your credibility? We'll be holding an explanatory press conference immediately. I have the script for you here. You say you were covertly admitted to the hospital. The issue was critical, and you made a miraculous recovery. Now, health issues will lose you approval points, so be sure to make a point of impressing that you're back to full health. Uh -uh. Um, no need to look so serious. Everyone still has high hopes for you. I've already laid out all the groundwork, so as long as you follow my instructions, there won't be any problems. That's how it's been. <laughs> and that's how it'll stay. Yes. Hmm. Now then, Marie-san, shall we be going? We have our own preparations to make for the press conference. I would like you to play the part of the devoted fiancé who supported Toshiro through his many obligations. Ugh, I realize I have to do this if I want to become First Lady. But it's such a hassle. Do you think I should change? Perhaps I could wear something that panders a bit more to all those commoners. already in full swing, doesn't it? Since everyone's here again today, maybe we should ask for some coffee? This is very disappointing. I had such high hopes for Mr. Kasukabe. Indeed. As extreme turmoil continues to cast a pall over the political world, its future falls increasingly in question. Meanwhile, investigations of Mr. Kasukabe's father, Mr. Yoshiki, and his ex fiance will continue Politics seem to be the talk of the town as usual, huh? It's not surprising. Another major scandal on the coattails of the one last year. Gotta give Toshiro credit, though. He got right to the chase at that press conference. There was supposed to be an explanation for his disappearance instead of turned into a confessional. I am not qualified to be Prime Minister. I indict my father for his crimes. Yeah. We're talking criminal indictments against an elder statesman by his own flesh and blood. And then he announces he's breaking off his engagement, too. Talk about a lot to process, Toshiro. Ultimately, his resignation means any hope of him becoming Prime Minister went down with him. Everyone was totally shocked. A press conference like that brings back memories of last year, doesn't it? The way things are going, I don't see the dust settling for a while. But at least Toshiro kept his promise. That means his resolve was real. Sure, but it's not only that. What he did took a lot of courage, too. 
He's definitely got guts. His actual gut, though? <laughs> Not sure it's up for what could come next. Man, what was he thinking saying all that? Way to make us worry. Isn't there any way we can contact him? Like, asking Makoto's sis or something? No. Public security has their eye on us. Trying to make contact with him would very likely have the opposite effect. I know it's frustrating, but waiting is our only option right now. you answer it for him? Hello? Is this Cafe LeBlanc? Uh, my name is Representative... Uh, I mean, uh, my name is Kasukabe. Wait, did he say Kasukabe? Oh, I recognize that voice. Is that you? Toshiro! Hey, you doing okay? Could that be? Morgana? Wouldn't you be in cab form right now? Should I speak in feline? You're making fun of me! This is just a temporary guise I used to keep out of the public eye. So, what's up? You had everyone here worried. Forgive me. I refrained from contacting you to avoid any potential trouble it might have put you in. I'm sure you know from the news by now, but things have been pretty hectic on my end. As for my father and Marie, they'll likely be arrested with their co-conspirators very soon. Wanted to make sure you all were aware of that. I see. Did well, Toshiro. Anyways, I've been tied up in hearings every day, and it looks like I'll only be getting even busier moving forward. I also still have to figure out what I'm going to do now that I'm not a representative anymore. Hey, now. You're not the only one that makes those decisions, you know. <laughs> I, I appreciate the offer, but I wouldn't want to impose. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking of starting over. I want to become a politician I can be proud to be. Of course, I still don't know what kind of sentence I'll get. So, maybe expecting a fresh start isn't very realistic. But even so, I think I still want to take on the challenge. I want to be the kind of politician people can trust to take a stand and fight by their side. Thanks. And one day, I'll turn our society into a place that no longer needs the Phantom Thieves. That's a bold claim, Mr. Big Shot. Let's see what you got then. Well, it's been great hearing your voices again. I must say goodbye for now. I probably won't be able to come by the cafe anytime soon. But I'll be sure to visit one day. All right then. Tell everyone I say hi, will you? Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Stay well. Toshiro-san's going to try and become a politician again. There's no doubt it'll be a bumpy road. It's been under a lot of fire online from what I've seen. Yeah, the internet's already bent on canceling Toshiro and his dad. No surprise there, though. Honestly, it'd be strange if they didn't go after them. No matter how admirable your ideals may be, at the end of the day, it's the constituents that get to decide. He'll have to restart his whole race from scratch. Actually, more than that, he'll be behind the starting line. He had to know what he was getting himself into, right? He did. Yoshiro said he was going to fight, and this only shows just how serious he was. Doing what you think is right doesn't always produce positive results. But he made the decision to stay the course, and show no regrets about what that meant. Regardless of how things began, we still learned a great deal from how he carried himself. Yes, we certainly did. Someday, I hope everyone will understand what they stood for. All right then, we did a lot of talking the talk too, so now we've got to back it up with action. <laughs> That's true. We wouldn't want Toshiro and Arena to laugh at us. So each of us will keep fighting for our respective goals. Does that sound about right? And fight we must. First, I will battle this empty stomach. The result of an equally empty wallet. Oh, crap. I'm looking at extra classes if I don't put up a good fight against that quiz tomorrow. Big ambitions, I see. Yeah, 
this for you on. Don't forget to fight that appetite of yours, or you'll be kicking yourself for it again. Shut it! Ah! You know what? I'm fighting you instead. I'm confiscating that candy as punishment! <laughs> hey, stop! You'll spill them! My goodness. Settle down, you two. A curry for me, please? M me too! trying to score free grub in the middle of all this? Oh boy. Doesn't matter how many times we have to fight for our lives. Some things never change, huh? Well, we may be our same old selves, but we did manage to save someone's life. There's no doubt the will we showed in battle got through to Toshiro and the others. Every person who takes a stand gives someone else a push of encouragement. Maybe that's how this flame of revolution gets passed on. I agree. Getting whisked here and there at this rate is gonna run us ragged. At least a half year or so to kick back would be nice. Now then, we don't have much time left to spend like this. Why don't you make some coffee for everyone? Something that'll really knock their socks off.
Thank you. I look forward to your support. Like I finally caught up. I've been waiting. I should write that down. 